Okay, today we're going to discuss the total harmonic distortion of high powered inverters. This is a transformer uh, low frequency type inverter, so it has switching devices and a very large transformer. This particular transform this particular uh, inverter works at uh, 48 volts DC in, 240 volts AC out. It works at 50 hertz. So we're going to we've got 48 volts worth of battery here on the input and we've got multiple resistive loads here to gradually increase the load and we'll be looking at the total harmonic distortion on the on the THD meter here. We'll be looking at current and on voltage. Here we have a um, Tortec HP high powered inverter. It's a 48 volt uh, battery uh, DC supply and it's a 240 volt AC output. We have multiple resistive loads over here and we can increase the uh, resistive load and look at the THD which is the total harmonic distortion which is coming out of this inverter. Now why are we worried about THD or total harmonic distortion? Well, total harmonic distortion is a measure of the amount of fundamental power that's at the fundamental frequency, which is in this case the AC fundamental frequency of 50 Hz that you're able to draw out of the inverter. Now, why is that important? Well, the amount of power that a load absorbs is only really dependent upon the 50 Hz component. So if we're drawing out of the inverter uh, a lot of harmonics or, or uh, multiple harmonics, that power at that harmonic, which is the 100 hertz, the 150 hertz, the 250 hertz, 200 hertz, that power is unusable in particular when it comes to a reactive mode like a motor. So the useful power that comes out of the inverter we want to make it as identical as it is as it comes out of the power point of your house. That means we want to reduce the total harmonic distortion, we want to reduce the harmonics, and we want to maximize the fundamental component which comes out of the, out of the uh, inverter, just like we want the maximum fundamental to come out of your, your power point in your house. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn this inverter on and we're going to have a look at it and see how good or how bad it is. So the DC is connected. And we'll turn it on in, um, in with the power saving mode off. So we'll go direct online and you'll see it come up. And then we'll gradually increase the load and just watch the harmonics. And we'll watch the harmonics on the voltage and the current. And you'll be able to see it on this meter. And you'll be able to see the cleanliness of the waveform. So here we have a, um, a 50 hertz waveform at 245 volts coming out. The fan fans are turning on. The load, how much load have we got on now? We've got uh, only a small load coming out. Only okay, no, very, nothing. nothing load. Okay, so here we are at no load. You can see the waveform's pretty clean. Let's have a look at the uh, uh, we've got about 1.7% total harmonic distortion, 244 volts RMS, 342 volts uh, peak coming out. That's okay. All right. Now, let's uh, put some load on. Okay, let's have a look and see what we've got. We've got about uh, 6.8 amps. We've got about 1.67 uh, kilowatts, and we've got about 240 volt, 4 volts. Let's have a look at the harmonic distortion. Uh, it's 3.1 percent. That's good. That's a good. That's about as good as you get out of your power point. Now let's increase the load further. Let's have a look at the waveform. Okay, 244 volts here. The power is 10.14 amps. Waveform, current waveform looks good. Voltage waveform looks good. Uh, let's look at how much uh, watts we've got. We've got 2.46 kilowatts. 
let's uh, have a look at the 2.8% um, total harmonic distortion. Let's go up to 50%, uh, let's go up to say 5 kilowatts. You can hear the amount of fan that is being generated now has increased. We've got 3.2% there, we've got uh, 20 amps, we've got uh, about 5 kilowatts, that's fine. Okay, give us a little bit more power please. Okay, we've got about uh, 26 amps here, we've got 6.3 kilowatts. Um, we've got about 7% total harmonic distortion, which is still very good. Okay, we've got approximately 30 amps, 7.2 kilowatts, and we've got about 10.5% uh, distortion on the voltage. On the current, we've got about 11% total harmonic distortion. That's getting towards the limit of what you want. You don't want to go much higher than that. So that's, that's indicative of a, uh, of a pretty good uh, performance. You can start to see, um, let's have a look at the voltage. You can start to see a little bit of flattening at 10% on the waveform here, which is indicating the harmonic effect. And now you can start to see the 3% harmonic coming in. So you've got the fundamental here and you've got the third harmonic there. So if you have a look at the third harmonic, you've got that's the thing that's actually contributing most. The, the second harmonic is minuscule, the third harmonic is 10.6% and the other harmonics are not there. So there you are. So that gives you an idea of the importance of what we call total harmonic distortion and what it means in terms of whether it's a good inverter or a bad inverter. A good inverter will have a THD level less than, say, 10%. A bad inverter might have a THD level of, say, 20% or 25%. But you can tell it always, you can tell it by, the, uh, by that waveform. Once that waveform starts to, the top starts to crop, and you can see the waveform starting to crop there at... Uh, there it is on the current cropping as well. We're at 12% on current, and we're about 11% on voltage. So, that's it.